not just health insurance, but the total package of benefits. We are in deep need of financial and fiscal help in this district. There's no question about it. But my imploring you, I'm imploring you, board members, to please consider that every teacher you cut harms 30 children. And our mission is supposed to be doing the best we can do for our children. Thank you. Jose and Carmen Torres. Enrique Cervantes.
I can relate uh, to the concerns of some of these parents in the uh, abyss of not knowing uh, what the future of that school is. I can relate to them in so far as uh, what's in store for the future of their children, which you people in the front seat right here have the controls of that. We as teachers in the classroom have certain controls. And our main control is the education of those children. You set the policy. You are the ones responsible ultimately to make the decisions that will affect not only we the people that are sitting here, but also those children that are sitting in our classrooms. In this district, there has been uh, so many letdowns and I call them letdowns this moment for a lack of words. But we cannot continue with this notorious uh, identification of being the district that is always releasing so many teachers in massive amounts. We cannot afford being that training ground for young teachers. And you know these young teachers are not going to sit around when you give them a pink notice. They're going to get up and they're going to go look for another job somewhere else. And we're losing some quality teachers that way. I know that some of them are my students. Some of those teachers are my students. They were the ones that uh, struggled, but at the same time they put all their effort into passing my classes and passing classes of other teachers that instructed them. And they've made it through high school, they've made it through college, university. They got their credential now, and then now, now they're back in Calexico because they feel in their hearts a calling to come back, come back and give to Calexico what Calexico gave to them. And we thank them with a pink nose. Some of our colleagues also, our administrators, received a letter indicating that they were also <laughs> laid off until further notice. I think they can relate to how these people that are sitting in this audience are feeling right now. The insecurity of whether there's going to be a job next year for them or not. I'd like to put things into perspective. I'm also on the Budget Advisory Committee at the district level. There is a $5.1 million deficit in this district. The whys, I got some ideas, but that's not to be discussed right now. What I am looking at is the fact that uh, if you release 104 teachers, that translates, according to the numbers that I received from the Budget Advisory Committee, that a teacher, an average teacher's salary, including benefits, is $82,000. Now, don't get excited about that because I don't know about those numbers, okay? <laughs> 82,000 times 100 teachers, that's $8.2 million. That more than covers the deficit this year. It probably even covers the deficit next year. Our administrators, 34 of them got dismissed or got a notice, not dismissed, but got a notice of dismissal also. 34 of them, 4.4 million. Now you add 4.4 million and 8.2 million. I don't know what we're trying to do here, people. That's lots of millions of dollars. <laughs> and I, I know that our deficit is not that great. We got to think seriously as to what positions you're going to cut. And I know you're not going to be able to avoid it making cuts. I know you're not going to be able to do it. Unfortunately, we always take a reactive stance in this district instead of taking a proactive stance. Now we've been proactive, we wouldn't be negotiating anymore. 07 08, this school district got a 4.53% code. <laughs> Classified didn't see a penny of it. Certificated, certificated didn't see a penny of it. Administration didn't see a penny of it. Where did those 3.5 million plus dollars go to? Where did it go to? That's just a question mark. I agree with the gentleman that says uh, he's 
look into our budget and 